hi friends welcome once again here we're going to prove a very nice uh, formula right uh, for our derivative right let me read the question prove if function f of x is equals to x to the power n and n belongs to real numbers this is r right then uh, derivative of the function with respect to x is equals to n times the x to the power n minus 1 right this we have to prove it here it's really one of the wonderful result we, we're gonna prove it here right now right it's really wonderful right so keep watching uh, sincerely it's really nice you'll get and finally it, it it will make you really so much comfortable to find the derivative of any function right uh, in this form so let me proceed here the given function right f of x or I can say y is equals to x to the power n right but according to our formula uh, the derivative of the function f of x is equals to a limit when h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x whole divided by h right we know this formula now uh, we're using this formula uh, to this function right so what will happen now so f of x uh, f prime x it means simply the dy by dx right or simply I can write also derivative of function f x right with respect to dx is limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h right I will just insert the value of x plus h in this function right so what I will get uh, that I'm going to write it here so I will get here x plus h whole to the power n minus now I'm uh, inserting the x but it's already here x so it will be just x to the power n whole divided by h right now how to solve it well uh, I want to go back a little bit back uh, in limit chapter right what we have learned in limit chapter that limit when x tends to 0 right x to the power m a to the power m whole divided by x to the power n minus a to the power n is equals to m by n a to the power m minus n right this formula actually we had learned in a limit chapter so I'm using the same formula over here right but I cannot use this until I will not make the denominator in the form of x plus h uh, and minus x right so but I can easily change this right so dy by dx is now equals to limit h tends to 0 right x plus h whole to the power n minus x to the power n whole divided by now what I'm going to write I'm going to write x plus h I added this x extra so I must have to subtract this x so x plus x minus x overall you'll get just h right so I'm adding here and I, I'm subtracting the same thing over here so I can easily write like this and now I'm closing this inside a bracket so see it is exactly in this form x to the power m minus a to the power m whole divided by x to the power n minus a to the power n it is just like in this form now see here now uh, let me tell you this this x plus h will work as a x here and will work as a m here right and x, uh, and here x will work as a a so the value of this will be simply m upon n right that is n if there is nothing then there is one right we know this everyone right so this n divided 1 that is m upon n will be here uh, n upon 1 times a to the power m minus n here x will work as a a so uh, a to the power m m is here n so n minus n that is 1 right so see here this m n is working as a m and this 1 is working as a n that is why you might be confusing and this x plus h whole is working as a x and this x is working as a here a so that is why uh, I use this m divided by n m divided by n that is n divided by 1 and a to the power here a is working uh, x is working as a therefore a 
to the power m minus n that is m minus 1 that is n minus 1 right so now if you solve this right what you'll get you'll get simply n times x to the power n minus 1 right so now I can easily write that uh, derivative dy by dx or f prime x is equals to n times x to the power n minus 1 right now we prove it right so how easy it was it we simply prove this right so now using this formula we can solve a lot of problem related to this right so I, I, I want to give a simple example over here just just see yeah uh, right uh, I just want to give you an example mm, suppose uh, uh, function fx is x to the power of 5 so how to find the uh, the derivative of the x to the power of 5 right so simply using this formula right uh, dy by dx is now equals to c n times x to the power n minus 1 so n here 5 will work right as a n so uh, n that is 5 times x to the power n minus 1 right so overall what we get 5 times x to the power 4 5 minus 1 4 we can easily find out the derivative right we don't have to go about a long process of this uh, this uh, first principle method we don't have to go right we can directly tell the derivative of any function right and another example I want to give you here right uh, f of x function right is equals to suppose 2x to the power 8 plus 2 x to the power 3 now I'm giving you 8 itself plus 2 to the power x, uh, 4 right now, now now how to solve this right so it will be simply right dy by dx right uh, derivative dy by dx or dfx you can do anything right whatever you like so here 2 times now see uh, I wanna put this a little bit uh, upside right now see n times x to the power n minus 1 here this 8 will work as n right so 8 times x to the power n that is 8 minus 1 right again uh, will be uh, we finish this now we are doing this 8 times x to the power that is n we have already done right so now now what we'll do it is 8 it's the coefficient 8 right so n here 3 will now work as an so 3 times x, uh, x that is itself x n minus 1 that is 3 minus 1 again plus right it is 2 coefficients so I can write it now now x to the power 4 that is n times that is 4 times x to the power n minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 so what we get here 8 to the 16 x to the power 7 plus 8 3 is a 24 24 x to the power 2 3 minus 1 that's 2 plus 2 4 is a 8 times x to the power 3 so what do we get right this is our derivative exactly right f prime x derivative so we can simply uh, using this formula we can solve a lot of problems right and it makes quite easy for our entrance exam for multiple choice questions right uh, it's really one of the in, uh, important uh, relationship you can say in derivative so keep these things in your mind right uh, hope we'll be meeting in the next video with a different type of problem that will give you more concept in differentiation okay bye bye